Are you garbage? If your tux has a stain on it and you wear it anyway, then when you get to the wedding, you immediately spill something on yourself in front of a crowd to make it look like it happened there so everybody is none the wiser. I respect the fucking move. Richie, what are you doing? Oh, f <laughs> he gets there. Someone get me meatballs. Stat. <laughs> Gang, get your tickets for all the cities on the Stay Trashy Tour at areyougarbage.com. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find it out they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Ace Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She's upstairs with a nice shepherd's pie in the oven. <laughs> okay. In honor of our special guest. She also hid the silverware. My co-host <laughs> is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's a Sultan of the suburbs, baby. Oh, baby. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, is make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Yeah. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are True to Roof. Cooking. Cooking. And obviously, the greatest website of Woo. all time, www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage? You go over there. And you get bonus content coming out the wazoo, gang. It's all on there. Check it the frick out. Yes, sir. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Mm -hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. Hey, what up, dudes? What, what up, up, pal? Dude? Nothing feeling like I just found a four-leaf clover in the field, you know? This one's angry, the though. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a bit of an attitude problem. <laughs> he doesn't have a pot of gold. He has a pot of shut the fuck up. <laughs> I got a knuckle sandwich for you. What the fuck? Gang, the long hair ain't lying because we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest back with us again today. Mm -hmm. First time here in the new edition here at Tootie's. Uh, you know him. You love him. He's going to be at Helium Comedy Club September 20th. So go fucking show up and see the kid. Mm -hmm. And he's also got a brand new special out right now. 30 minutes with Colin Turrell. Give it up. For Colin Turrell, everybody. Yeah, there thanks, he is. Thanks, guys. Uh, Leaning into those Philly dates with the hey, Eagles no, jersey. No. I'm pretty sure that's a girl's jersey, too. No, no, no. Hey, I've just, I've supported, the, I've been a Philly fan so long. Sure, I've, yeah. I've, 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 Man. I've had this since I was a young boy. <laughs> Man, I've, he can pander. Huh? I love when the Eagles hit those home runs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Jalen Hurts was a three-pointer. <laughs> you look like a red shirt freshman right now. Yeah. Nice. No, I think I look good. This is solid. You know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> Looks good. Where did you get that? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you look like the third string quarterback. <laughs> he looks like the water boy. What are you talking about? September 20th at Helium Comedy Club, Philadelphia. All jokes aside, tickets are light. <laughs> What can I say? I love hockey. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, flyers or whatever you guys are. I love oh, them. Man. I just picture you with a closet full of jerseys for different cities. <laughs> You're just wherever the show is. Yeah. <laughs> I wish Boise had a team. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of ticket alert going over at Boise. No, I'm just having a John. Just having a John. Uh, no, no, you're saying it wrong. I'm just Johned up, you know? <laughs> I mean, start doing fentanyl. I respect this selfless promotion as a businessman myself. Let me just this is all time. Ooh, that's some good wooter. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. If you have a problem with this, you can see me. <laughs> Come I'll fight you out front of Helium Comedy Club yes. if you show me one valid ticket stub. If you find me, I'll give you a free ticket, buddy. Congrats on the special. Thank you Congrats. very much. Let's I appreciate go. it. Um, please give it a look if you're um, at home. Thank you. It's yeah. out right now. It's so out right now. Guys, on a YouTube page. He's Check one of the out. best in the city. He's, you know, he's a little rough and tumble, but it's good. He's a little <laughs> fucking, he's a little edgy. Is this, I guess, I set. guess. And I'm a dirty little edge lord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. great, though, man. Congratulations. Showed up in a bathing suit and a jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I've, I've gone numb because because the lead up to the special, you're just watching back the edits so often that it's almost like, it's like when you repeat a word mm -hmm. over and over and over again, it loses all me. And it's like my face has sort of just become like, I'm like, who is this? Yeah. Like, it, I don't, when I see myself, I'm like, who is this fucker? 
Did you hate yourself? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What? I'm not like myself for the first time in my life when I watch my special. <laughs> yeah, they, that's that's really the one. turn it on in your 30s. <laughs> that's, that's that's the moment when Practice. I watch my OK special. <laughs> Practice and self love, baby. No, it was a lot of fun. Uh, shout out to Gas Digital. Watch all the specials, actually. You know, you yeah. got Lewis, Dave Smith, Jordan Jensen, uh, Rich Voss, Kurt Metzger. Um, they're all part of a series of 30 minutes with Gas Digital. So I'm happy it's out. Mm-hmm. You know, first one. Um, let's hopefully hopefully makes me super famous. There um, you go. There you'll you be go, begging baby. me to come on next time. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be bumping Segura. Uh, be Kali, it's Kali T, dude. He's touching. <laughs> oh, we got to do it. We got to kiss the ring. <laughs> Kali T called me. Oh, here's a question. Yeah. Colada rings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're popular with men in Ireland, right? No. Fuck. Yes, what? thank you. God damn it. He wore one, dude. No, you did not. Yes, did he you, did. Uh, did you have a face in the right way so that people knew you were ready to mingle? <laughs> <laughs> He's hanging out at the docks trolling. I don't know if you noticed, but it's actually Wait pointing. for the tuna boats to come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wait, I forgot about that. He was dead set because I made fun of him for it. Yeah. And he was dead set. I was set. young. I was in love. Oh. Uh, now the narrative's really changed. Whoa. Sure. No, tough Irish guys wear it. I thought yeah. Irish guys were. Yeah, the three a three finger cluttering. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Comes with a tracksuit. Um, yeah, I I thought they were only like a woman thing. I didn't know it was like a we're both in a relationship. Let's wear matching rings. Really? Thing. As far as my understanding is, because also a lot of this Irish stuff isn't. I know. In my culture, it's like you come over here and it's you American really, Irish. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no corned beef and cabbage. Yeah, no, there is. Yeah, there's definitely corned beef and cabbage. There is. Yeah, there's corned beef. Plenty of alcoholism. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty yeah. of domestic violence, too. That yeah. crosses the pond. <laughs> All of that stuff is... <laughs> that's genetic. The other, stu- the other stuff, accessory. The other stuff is cultural. That's, yeah. the, that's like within that's our... That's in the DNA is yes. to be a booze bag. But as far as I know, you put the ring on... Yeah. And you, f- you, pay- you point it towards you if, if you're, you're, single, if you're No. If point you're, it... The heart goes towards you... If, if you like you, guys. If <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, Guilty. It goes on your finger, you close your fist, you shove it up an ass. <laughs> no. It goes towards you if you're in a relationship and out if you're looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking. Okay. Yeah, you're looking. I'm watching, <laughs> if which you're way cruising. Did you, did, you, wait, did, you like, did you break open your girl and go like this right in front of them, turn it around? No, I tried, right the, there. I tried to pawn it. Oh, wow. Yeah. For, how much are they? Was it a real eight bucks, bro? They're like, aren't they like fake? I think eight? I got seven fifty for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the throes of a drug addiction, <laughs> and I was broken hearted. <laughs> how old were you when you wore? I thought you were about to say you were twelve. This was uh, no, you were. I was in my twenties, oh my, my early twenties. Yeah, it's I young. thought they were popular. Uh, yeah, there was the a, there guys. was a couple of comments or people that wrote in with like, yeah, I also wore one, but I don't, you know. I honestly, I, but I'm also very bad with this stuff. But I never even. Acknowledge, knew them until I moved to America. Really? But that's not to say, because a lot of this stuff I got, we don't have that in Ireland. And everyone else is like, yeah, we do. Yours are more on. Yeah, I yeah, never yeah. noticed anything. I have the same thing. If you got married, would you walk a, rock a, a, would you rock a wedding band? Uh, would you wear your wedding, a wedding ring? ring? Oh, a ri- yeah. I'd you will? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. I always say, Kippy doesn't wear a wedding ring. I don't ring. wear one. No? No. <laughs> Legend. Hey, all right. I don't know if you know, but uh, kids on borrowed time. You know what I mean? Man after my own heart, dude. <laughs> you waiting for a couple more hairs to fall out okay. before you take yourself yeah, completely sure. off the yeah. mark. A hooker stole it. <laughs> I got, I got one more shot at losing these twenty pounds, and see if that works out. If that were, if that don't work out, I'm putting one on. Uh, I uh, no, I never wore. I didn't. I don't know. I, I forgot. The, we had the wedding. I forgot. There were so many things I forgot to get a ring because uh, it's like oh, so yeah. not important to me. Yeah. So I got one on Amazon. You got hers, right? Yeah, we got hers. I got mm. one on Amazon for like eight bucks just to have at the ceremony. And I was like, oh, I'll get one later, but I can't. I don't know. I think I don't wear watches. I don't wear yeah. anything. Rings. The rubber one seems the little black rubber one. Yeah, a lot rubber. of people. Are, yeah, a lot really. Of people yeah, people wear yeah. rubber ones because a lot of, of construction workers because like if, yeah, if so, you know, something will get cut on it. Yeah. Look, uh, caught on it or rip your finger off. But if you work oh, in a kitchen, shit. if you work in a kitchen or anything like that. Um, you know, you're not that. allowed weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I once snuck into a music festival, right? Sure. Okay. Because and uh, so what I did was I got I got someone else to rip off their hand armband, mm-hmm. the wristband from inside. They brought mm-hmm. it out to me, and I printed up a fake uh, letter from my boss and said I was here yesterday. I came home to do the night shift in the kitchen. I'm not allowed to have anything on my hands in the kitchen, so I had to cut it off. And they're like, "This is my boss that says the rules that in the kitchen." Jesus. Signed, columns, and then, and then, boss. And, they, and then, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> put, put a little marinara sauce on it to make it look authentic. 
<laughs> Great guy, character letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he showed, would dress like Chef Boyardee. He, he would never sneak. Yeah, had a big huge chef and a big mustache. I was in the I was in the kitchen. But he the, also uh, came. You act like you were a surgeon or something. You work in the back of the house. I know. I know. Yeah. Did it the, work? Yeah. The guy was like great because everyone else was trying to sneak in. They were Thank you for your service, sir. They, yeah. <laughs> they, right they, were, they were screaming at them, going like, "This is crazy! I can't believe I'm not allowed in." And I was like, "Man, you must have a tough yeah, job." Oh, I yeah. walked in like, "Dude, these guys are animals, huh?" I was mm-hmm. like, "Here's a letter from my boss." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here's a letter from my big boss. A yeah, couple I'll, working guys <laughs> like us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How you get a gig like this, huh? <laughs> I mean, you're a full blown <laughs> idiot. But that's the best. That's the best way. If you ever need to sneak into someone, say, "Yeah, you, your boss." <laughs> write a letter from your boss. Don't, don't try that. So. At all. That's yeah. never a thing. That's not going to work. Yeah. What are you talking about? You wrote me a fake letter so I get my first apartment. I did. He was also, all dude. Right. His his little. That's that's, that's standard that's, practice. Yeah, that's, though. Come on, I'm trying to level the <laughs> playing field. Yeah, come on, cut to an app. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> he, he fucking. He's like, I don't know. What did we? It was right when he was trying to get his own apartment. I'm like, you know, uh, he's like, yeah, I need a letter from my employer. Stating I make this much money, I'm like, dude, I'll make you the head of the fucking, <laughs> the head of podcasting. What are you talking about? I'll sign whatever. I'm like, send me what you need. Yeah. Fucking I'll, head of pediatrics. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Toby <laughs> makes eighteen million dollars a year. I dude, I do. I love a fucking fake letter. Of course, a fake letter. And back in the day when you had to put three references. Then you give your, you, you say, hey, your listen. Your brother, your mom, your Fuck sister. Yeah, yeah, dude. Your brother, your mom, your sister. Yeah. <laughs> Always, <laughs> man. Always. Yeah, so he worked for me for five years. He's a great guy. Yeah, I, I did that shit all the time. I got caught by a landlord one time when I was trying to get my, I was I was living with my buddy and I was trying to move out and get my own apartment by myself uh, with for, with me and my wife at the time. My girlfriend at the time. She was my now wife. I'm panicking. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm married. No ring. <laughs> no ring. <laughs> <laughs> That's in my head now, dude. She's like, I heard you. You know, um, so. I hope she gets you a clotter ring. <laughs> you have makes to wear me it. wear it. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fucking. Ah, nice. Woo! Put that in her ear. Um, He's been really asking me. <laughs> something he really likes. But uh, I had my, my roommate who owned the apartment. Mm-hmm. Right as my current landlord, which like there was never any lead. I was just giving him like four or five hundred bucks a month. But or theoretically, he was. Theoretically, he was. But he printed it up on like a letterhead. And it was like you know he's always paid his rent on time and all this stuff. And I sent it to the, my new potential landlord. He goes, "Would your buddy make this?" <laughs> I was like, "No, no, no! It's a real company." You know, he's like, it said like apartment two B on it or whatever. <laughs> there was no actual law. It's a handwritten on a pad. Yeah. yeah, he got he snuffed it out right away. <laughs> have, yeah, have you ever been the reference for like? Uh, like Job reference? Have you ever been like got, gotten the phone call? We were like, yeah, Toby worked for me for a long time. I don't think yeah. I ever did. You've gotten, yeah, yeah, I've gotten that call for yeah, buddy of mine. I didn't, I wasn't the person's boss, and he's like, hey, the fake call, yeah, the fake call, yeah, because they got fired for doing something, stealing or whatever the fuck mm. it was. Hey, listen, I'm gonna give these people your number. Yeah, fucking absolutely, that's an acting job to me. What are you nuts? <laughs> yeah. Fucking doing Australian accent. <laughs> Hello, mate. You talk, you're talking to a you're you're yelling at a fake secretary. <laughs> Lisa, hold my calls. I'm on with the general manager of yeah. Applebee's. At yeah, the moment. and you're there going <laughs> sell, sell, sell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He worked at me with, in Trader Joe's for a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty busy down well, here. Well, I think they're only play like factory sound music. <laughs> <laughs> they're only legally allowed to ask if they did. Work for you in how long? Yeah, they can't. You're not allowed to ask if they were a yeah. shitty Because people were like, yeah, they fucking suck. You're allowed to say they were I never great. would have got another job if that was the case. Yeah. I know I know. in Ireland there's a rule. They say, would you rehire them? Ooh. Ah, and, then, and, then, and, and that's how you're allowed to say. You're not allowed to say anything else, God but they would say no. I think that's pretty good, though. That's fair, I think. Would you rehire them? No, because mm-hmm. most of the time the answer is going to be fuck no. That's no, it's not my fault. You're a bad employee, you <laughs> <Yeah>. fucking bum. <laughs> yeah. Get your shit together and start contributing. Also... If you ha- and are hiring someone and then you ring their reference and then the reference gives them a bad reference, you go, this person, it's not even the bad reference. It's like, you're too stupid to get a, to, to allow this to happen. You should have put a should have put somebody you I knew would, was going to sure. at least give you a neutral Lie thing. to me. Someone yeah. who lies and gets their friend to do it yeah. is actually... I'd rather have them than the moron who the kid's just, a hustler. Yes, <laughs> yeah, of course. It's a real kid's a real scam artist. Dude, takes after my, myself. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> that's all right. Um, we are planning one of the our next Patreon goal at the moment is uh, when we hit twelve thousand five hundred. Fucking, we're homies. going back, Kali. We're, we're going, going back, back to the old. He's yeah. never been, never nice. been. Yes. What are some? Things we should do or places we have to see. We're obviously going to hit the big ones. We're going to do Dublin. Dublin, party, go check out the pubs, see some, uh, I guess go see some stuff, I guess, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Now, the Dublin, you know. Dublin's, I've spent time in Dublin. It's cool. Dublin's a good, yeah, 
it's a it's a regular city. It's like a European city. So you just go see the go to the pubs. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the old pubs are the ones you want to go to. All the pubs that like because it, uh, there's pubs from the 1800s. Are yeah. the beers cold over there? They serving them warm. What's the deal? Cold, cold, cold. cold? cold. Yeah, right. and even Guinness is. Um, uh, this is like some rumor that Guinness is like some room temperature, but it's not. Never been a big Guinness guy. No, it's yeah. different over there. It's, it's unbelievable. Cream really, and crisp. It tr- truly yeah. is. Yeah. yeah, you have one, and then like it's like, like, it's like you, you want to put cereal in it in the morning. It's so good. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, unbelievable. Yes. When you go to drink, I like the way you think. You kid. go to drink it. You think you're gonna take a gulp, and the next thing you know, you're empty. And you're like, I guess we're having another one. <laughs> and then, and then, and then the cream. This is because I'm a real Guinness snob too. It's like a real bad character trait. But you see the like the cream like. Riding the glass, mm-hmm. sticking to the side of the glass. You don't get that over here because they wash it with the wrong soap or whatever. But uh, oh, it's legit. Guy. It's legit. Yeah. Okay. Then I, yeah. West. Sorry. Good. West Coast is what I think. Go West Coast. Go see it, the the open green, the rolling hills. That's like the the postcard version yeah, yeah. of it's Ireland. It's also beautiful anywhere out there. Cliffs of Moher, all that type of stuff. Is there anything to do other than just go look at it? Just drinking, man. Just, yeah. And that's why I, I also <laughs> I will. It's an all time booze bag. It's like yeah, go to the bar, look at a field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will tell you. This. Bring a six pack, because those fields get interesting after about four or five beers. <laughs> you like throwing rocks at sheep? <laughs> You guys ever handle a car bomb? <laughs> <laughs> I I will say Ireland has great tourism because it's all built around booze. So even if you go to like the Jameson factory, mm-hmm. or, um, it's like it's just a museum, but they give you Jameson the whole time. So yeah, you're just like twisted. Yeah, you like, just get wasted. Yeah, yeah, and the whole thing Guinness is like that. Um, there's loads of bu- bunch of the walking tours and all the ways you're, you're just hammered the whole time, and you're like. All museums should just be like drunk museums. I have no interest in seeing a museum ever, and I know it's no. ignorant. I I want to do when I go to somewhere else. I want to do what I do at home, and that's <laughs> drink at a bar. <laughs> so like, I want to drink at a German bar. I want to drink at an Italian <laughs> yes. bar. I want to drink at an Irish bar. That's, that's what I want to do. Sit in my yeah. underwear and yell at my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Call him Stewart's like, and if you see a guy named Patty O'Sullivan, he owes me five hundred bucks. Kick his ass. <laughs> I never. I, I thought when we were in. So Ireland, you're Colum's bosses, huh? <laughs> we did have we did a pub crawl, and the guy who was hosting it, I guess, was a dork, and like two local bullies from his childhood oh, no. just stood there and made fun of him the whole time. Dude. <laughs> it was insane. He was like, "Guys, please leave!" And they're like, "Shut up, you pussy!" And they're, like, uh, they're like, "Tomo, uh, Tomo remember pussy. when you shit your pants in third grade, dude? <laughs> Doing guy. one of your tours, are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, it was one of the fu- dude, we show me like, your girlfriend dumped you <laughs> over yeah, here in a yeah, corner. Yeah. Where's your collateral ring, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. No, that trip's on a rule. No one, no one's ever told me they had a bad time in Ireland. Yeah, like, and that's why everyone always asks me for advice. I go, trust me, you're gonna have fun. And I have like a copy and paste email that I sent to everyone. People are always asking me where to go, and I was like, just here you go. Here's the. Should you do like Belfast? Should we? Is that uh, if you're no? Okay, <laughs> all right. I hey, we just got into some political t- territory here. <laughs> oh, you want to? <laughs> no, 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 cross no. international borders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they'll they'll hate that. A lot of people are gonna hate that. And you know what? The Brits aren't funny. The Brits don't have a good sense of humor. Lobs of Matoff cocktail uh, yeah. ass. Yeah. Leaves. Petrol bomb. Petrol bomb. They say, they call it in Ireland. Oh, a really? Petrol bomb. Yeah, not a Molotov. Is that an appetizer? What are we talking about here? It's, it's just a, a, a Molotov cocktail. Mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess you could go up there. Donegal's really beautiful. I think Belfast would be kind of a waste. Sounds of time. like a bookie. <laughs> Donegal. <laughs> Donegal. <laughs> No, I'm fucking into Donnie Golf for about three Dude. stacks. Yeah, the D was looking for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Gall. I'll have your money right away. <laughs> got behind on the ponies. <laughs> Talk to Donnie Gall. Uh, yeah, I did the over under. I thought I thought the Eagles played basketball. I didn't. I had. I had I t- there's I, something. I took 120 points. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tease it down. <laughs> I got it to 118. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Uh huh. Racing thoughts are the worst, as we all know. I got ones racing through my head at light speed, <laughs> constantly reminding you of the stupid things that you did five years ago, or making an existential crisis on you at 3 a.m. when you're trying to get some shut eye. Mm-hmm. A great way to loosen those thoughts is to talk through them in therapy. With BetterHelp. Yeah, BetterHelp is totally online, convenient, flexible, suited for your schedule. Uh, you can do appointments by phone, video call, or even by message to make therapy work for your lifestyle. I've said it once, I said it 15 billion times. Big proponent of talk therapy. It just helps you get some stuff out. You get a different perspective on it. Half the time as those thoughts race through your brain, you got to go, whoop, to have someone go, what are you doing? You're nuts. Get out of here. Go take a walk. Go walk to the park. Go, 
go go breathe in the go get some sun, breathe in a nice park day or something. You sure. know what I mean? And you're not driving your friends crazy with your craziness. Yeah. Okay. Well, you need, you need help on that. Getting started is easy. Take the short quiz to get matched with a licensed therapist. If your first therapist isn't willing, don't panic. You can swap therapists with the click of a button, which is a big thing. It's easy. If you're hesitant, going to sit somewhere, talk to somebody. This just gets you in the pool, baby, and then yeah. you can decide who you want to swim with. Uh, it's basically like Tinder, but for your mental health. All right. Now you know. You don't like him, you keep it moving. Yeah. Uh, get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage a day to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H E L P.com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Kid, let's talk about trust and will. Shout out to them. Gang, spoiler alert, we're all going to die eventually, and you don't want to have all your stuff written down on some notepad next to your deathbed. Do yourself a favor. Get over to trust and will. You're a real ray of sunshine. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Get over to trust and will and plan this out. It's the 21st century. Uh-huh. You can easily manage your will or trust online with a click of a button. You can pawn your stuff and even your kids <laughs> off to someone else and get it all finalized by a notary. Uh huh. I like that. There you go. I actually recently set up a will. It's fantastic. It gives you a little bit of peace of mind. You set it and forget it. It's what am I getting? What? <laughs> Getting a, a visit from the fucking feds. This is all in your name, pal. Uh, each will, each will or trust will be made state specific and customized to fit your needs. Trust and will even secures your information with bank level encryption, so you, your important documents are safe and protected. There you go. Uh, if you ever need help with the process, uh, live customer services support through phone, chat, and email. Right here, here's the turkey. Gain peace of mind today with Trust and Will. Get ten percent off plus free shipping with your estate plan documents by visiting trustandwill.com/garbage. That's ten percent off. And free shipping at trustandwill.com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Yeah, do it. Uh, uh, aren't the horse races big over there? Oh, yeah, huge, yeah. Go yeah. see the ponies? Yeah, the ponies are good. A big day out, but it's very much, you got to get dressed up. It's like a whole, like, everyone thinks they're like. You got to put on your nicest jersey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everyone thinks you're like a mob. Like, you know, it's like you're going to a wedding almost. Like, you know, the That's big, what we should do. I like that. Suits. I would do that. That'd I be like great. that. If you timed it with the Galway races, that'd be particularly great. Yeah, that would be very, very good. The dogs are great, too, but I guess it. Probably got, frowned upon. Probably got to the dogs anywhere. Is it? No, it's you can't. Dog they track? They're not in the U.S. anymore. Dog tracks are fun night out. What do you? They do. The they still track. have that down in Florida. They I got the greyhounds. I think. Yeah, they, the, I think they got rid of them. Greyhounds. Or there might be one left. Or there. Were, I know they were in the process of shutting down or getting all shut down. I wouldn't yeah. want to see that. The nice doggies. Nah, they, nice they, they're built. Dogs. They were designed to run fast and be whipped and stuff. <laughs> Jesus. They were designed to be smacked with a shovel if they don't win. <laughs> that was like they were bred to do that. So it's like that's part of their DNA. There's only yeah. two left, and they're in West Virginia. That ain't good. Yikes! Oh, I don't have my passport on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! I'd rather talk to Donnie Gall than fucking uh, <laughs> than risk it with a fucking dog race in West Virginia. Um, all right, but all right, so uh, let's get into some fucking questions here, gang. Let's uh, do some cues with Kali T. Ooh, that was a nice little segment. I like how we do coffee it. talk. <laughs> we do Dolly Gall. Uh, <laughs> guys, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on the air, and we are closing in on that n latest uh, goal of 12,500 peeps, and we will go to Ireland. Nice, and maybe we'll see you over there. We'll time it when you're over there. Probably. Yeah, Why, are you going to be over there? I'm always over there, all the time. Straight live everybody I live there. I just <laughs> I commute. Commutes, yeah. <laughs> I'm the commuter. Uh, also, I could see us going to a bar with you and, like, dragging us into some old beef that you have. Where, no, like, you, sure. Like, no. You, like, you know, rabbit punched a guy back in the day or yeah, something. Yeah, as soon as we walk in, I go, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> I hear get out! No! <laughs> Now, let's see if you just run your mouth with my boys here. <laughs> yeah. I got my knee brace yeah, on. Yeah. I walk in. I go, I'm telling you, this is a nice little quiet joint as soon as I walk in. Patty! <laughs> I just hear a glass break. <laughs> I told you I'd be back. <laughs> One time I walked into a 7-Eleven in Chicago with my buddy, and the guy started by the counter started losing his mind. I told you, get out. <laughs> and we got up front. I was like, what was that? He was like, ah, I got drunk. I pissed all over the taquitos. <laughs> That'll like, do it. <laughs> like, you thought we could go back? Uh. Uh, but he made them taste boys. <laughs> I do love. Shout out to a taquito. Love though. a taquito. Like oh, a taquito. I've, I've, the guilt, the, the Catholic guilt. <laughs> you wake up the next day having have one of them. Oh, I've never I don't. Been, I mean that. I could. I could finish no. out the. They, they don't bother me at all. No, that, that's like a late night, four a.m. Give me one of those things that's been rolling for a week. You know something. what he likes? He likes a wingy. Chicken wing? Yeah, oh, well, Have you seen me eat some chicken wings? Oh, you? <laughs> dude. You fed straight buffalo breath when I've been talking to you in the back of the cellar, dude. You got blue the, cheese all over dude, his mouth. Dude, the other night. I tell you, I'm an animal when it comes to food, too. I'm a sloppy mess. You don't really want to be near me. Really? I'm, you seem I'm, so refined in this uh, conversation. Yeah, and Tifa, apparently, I didn't even notice, but apparently when I eat, 
I don't know where to, I put my arm around my food like this and I eat like I'm in prison. Like it's my first meal. <laughs> I didn't know until like you know, people were like, I'm dating people. Like, like, are you in a hurry or something? Like, I'm going at him. <laughs> it's like the bowls ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a pig. Yeah. Oh, you're not a sharer when you eat, are you? Oh, I'll, like if, yeah, no, I'll share. If you and the, if you and the if you and the bird go out, you'll share an appetizer. Yeah, yeah, I, w- I want to taste everything, so you can taste whatever. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I'm sh- I'll share whatever. I, I, I'm not bad with that at all. Well, you. <laughs> oh, the way you said that. <laughs> How about you, Jobs? <laughs> <laughs> you probably want maybe share a little bit more. <laughs> Uh, no, I like the I like the I like the community appetizers. I'm a, yeah yeah no I I'm like that with all food. Sure sure, give me a bite, give give a bite. Yeah, because I, I just want a bite of every single thing on the menu. Will That's you eat after somebody's fork? Like if we if you and I were out to dinner, would you use my fork? I I would, but I know it probably looks bad, so I'd probably be like, I'm not doing that. But I honestly couldn't care less. No, I'd. Slurp it up oh, like if I took a, I'd lady in the tramp you just much. <laughs> splitting a piece of spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> you guys are splitting a chicken wing if I took a bite of a burger and gave you a bite would you take a bite of that yeah Kippy I just had I, absolutely not I don't even like eating burgers in front of you <laughs> let alone let alone going tit for tat on a burger yeah I mean I'm pretty gross but shit a bite of a sandwich well the goal a bite is- of a sandwich is alright depends on the sandwich really I'm yeah. surprised I mean what like with to share a bite of like if I had a sandwich, not you. I'm saying other people. Toby, Toby had a column. My, mm. Column probably. My problem with you two is you guys got a lot of hair around. There's yeah, a lot of hairs getting true. on that sandwich. That yeah. fucking male Which, mustache. Yeah, man. <laughs> and you are unaware. Yeah. Your sandwich comes back with mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts mayo on a chicken parm? Can I take a bite? <laughs> oh, man, that's gross. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a mouth thing. Yeah, for me. I got gotcha. you. You know. What if it's like. You think I have a gross mouth? <laughs> uh, next question, Your Honor. <laughs> it's not. It's not dry enough to share. Dude, it's uh, you know. like a Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> also, sometimes I look over at you and you're just lick your, licking yeah. your hair. You're going. Oh yeah, I you do. Have... I chew on my beard a lot. Yeah, in the corners. <laughs> I like to put a hair in my mouth and then that is pull it out with my teeth. Nasty. Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Weird. Uh, but I've shared like I share a sandwich with uh, you know who's big on that is Tommy Pope does the bite for bite. Oh, Tommy like, does. He'll do like a bite and be like, oh, you got to taste this, and I don't mind that. Tommy, you want to kiss him though? I know yeah. that. I'm trying to get close to him. <laughs> I'm just, happy. I'm just, I'm not even hungry. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't, but okay. <laughs> I'm allergic to seafood. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you got Benadryl? <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> whatever you say. Tommy, Tommy kiss me. <laughs> I'm gonna need mouth to mouth. Uh, all right, but let's get into it. Let's get into some goddamn cues here, gang. Sure. Uh, this is from Hot Boy Soup, five dollar homie. Never had one. Reb, I'd like to get the international take on this. In elementary school, did you wear an NFL jersey to picture day? I rocked a Dan Marino jersey in fifth grade. I want one. I want to know what your school picture days were like. Did you do that, like the yearbooks and stuff? Uh, no, no, we don't. We there's no yearbook. There's no yearbooks. No, Jeez, loveless, no. <laughs> loveless oh culture God. over there. Last thing I want. <laughs> Remember that time? La- <laughs> Everybody's got black eyes. <laughs> It's <laughs> just every year has like so, someone from the same family. Like every single. Uh, so, yeah. what did you do? School pictures or like one big picture? We did. Oh, there was the, the yeah, there was photos. They were paintings. There was, yeah, I feel like they're all black and white, and you're all covered in coal. <laughs> you're all just standing outside of an abandoned bungalow. Uh, we did have end of year photos that never went into a yearbook. It would be like <coughs> you would take it home for your. Uh, you would have it at the house, like on display of like. Yeah, but this it was is... it was always in like a cheap, like almost cardboard. Yeah, like thing. a paper thing. And like then a... you had a class photo where you'd all stand together. Gotcha. But there was no. You had to. We all had uniforms, so. Uh, I never, even in public school, you wore uniforms. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the standard. Um, I, honestly, it's the private schools that we don't wear uniforms, which I think is backwards here, correct? Yeah, yeah, okay. it depends. That did remind me though. I used to, I love the senior class picture where you were, everybody was down in the in the gym, and everybody got up and they were like, "Let's do a goofy one." Yeah, it was whatever. great. I yeah, jockeying for position in that was was big. Who you were sitting with, where you know, with the, the social structure, showing off your colada <laughs> ring. <laughs> I'm available, <laughs> guys. I'm looking. Uh, I never had a big, I, we never got really dressed up. Did you get like dressed up for school pictures? Senior year. Yeah. A uh, senior year. It was big. It. Senior was the yeah, big one. That's, that's the big one. The senior one is. Yeah. Cause yeah. that's, what that's you my have senior life. class picture right back there with the Paisley tie. 
You were blonde? No. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that's you? You know, when you play football? Yeah. Surprised he hasn't told you. You gotta get that jaw, dude. That's a that's a you have a great jaw. I'm working on it. Under so there. Vinny's supposed to get me a jaw size. Right? I what thought a waste they were of a coming great, in. Look what a wait, waste of a great jaw. Look at that jaw. I was pushing it out. All American Superman. I would do that when I was a kid. I'd push it out Remember to look though? better. Did you have uh no so I think we did it for you know confirmation and communion. You'd have your photos, and I don't think we ever did any other photos. <laughs> but I am cu- curious about your quote. I was just for the priest. Did you have a you had a high school quote? Nothing on that. <laughs> Sorry, no, I talked over. That was my bad. <laughs> uh, we did have a quote. I was gonna bring that up. I had a real. I, I, yeah. I, oh, I, fucking douchebag. Oh, you ruined it? Oh, <laughs> dude. I worked on that for like two years. Oh, you were like, this is gonna. Ruin Mine was a Jethro Tull quote. You know, who Jethro Tull is. Mm-hmm. I said, you know what I'm talking about? It's <laughs> <No. laughs> the corniest musician. Quarterback for the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> he's there. Oh he, he's at Helium. And a Jethro Tull fan. Huh? Yeah. Did you see the game last night? Like, I do. Yeah, he's, he's coming to my show at Helium on the 20th of September. Uh, no, it's a, it's a band. Uh, they sang Locomotive Breath and Aqualung. You know what I'm talking about? Band in the 70s? I know the name, but I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, Spin Me Back Down the Years and the Days of My Youth. You were still in your youth, chasing your youth, Spin man. Back, oh. This guy's never been in the present. Wow. Yeah, and then I wrote something to my high school girlfriend. Like, you had a quote I'll never like, forget you. You had a quote like from your deadbed nearly. <laughs> that's what that was. Yeah, that's that, that's what a 90-year-old person who's traveled the world says. Yeah. You're 18 going, remember the good old days? Yeah. They're behind me. I thought that was it. <laughs> oh, Enjoy man. it while you can. I didn't know the pod was going to work out. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember why, but I can find more a- chicken fingers, please. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got flatbreads here. I think uh, I can get them. I know my yearbooks at my is at my mom's house. I can get my hands on it and find out what it was. But it's probably some shitty lyric or something. Or Did you have one? A joke? No, no, we never had the books. I mean, just a it's a quote. Yeah. Oh, I'd, no. But I would love. I'd love have something like just <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> Just some sort of up the IRA. <laughs> the, 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 the ra- fuck the Queen. That, everyone's quote in Ireland would just be fuck the Queen. Yeah. That would be every single one. A couple of YouTube and if you, lyrics. And if you didn't do it, they'd beat you up. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Well, you love the crown now, do you? <laughs> what was this? Some quote from Bono? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, a jersey and a school picture for an American kid is tough, I think, right? I don't know. I feel like over there, though, a soccer jersey would be. Acceptable, that makes sense. I'll give you that. You know, no, I don't think so. I don't think. Do we you would. guys wear? Uh, where's not appropriate? Here, a football jersey to like a wedding or something is bad. Where yeah, is there nuts. people that do that with like a soccer? Uh, you know, a soccer jersey. They they might in England where they're m- m- more any miles. <laughs> <laughs> they have no class over there. <laughs> <laughs> no rules with those animals. Um, but they might well because I think they're more neat. They're more in the sport. Sure, you know, because it's their local Manchester United. Yeah, yeah. Very. As far as I know, I um, but uh, yeah, you're not supposed to really wear jerseys too often. I think to the game or watching the game. People wear them. Or to your favorite podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm just uh, my favorite team. Everyone needs to know I love Philly guy. What do you want? I love all Philly, Philadelphia. What neighborhood in Philly are you from again? The um, West Philadelphia. (laughs) That's where I was born (laughs) and raised. It's pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you got me there. That worked. (laughs) This guy checks out. Facts are facts. (laughs) We got the letter of recommendation. (laughs) Yeah, your boss. (laughs) Signed signed Will Smith. (laughs) (laughs) William Smith. Uh, All right, let's see here. Um, This this one's from $10 CPAP Investor. Is it garbage or classy to tint your living room windows? My mom did this in the late 90s. I think I've seen it. That's fucking And I got to be honest with you, I think I like it. What, are you in a church? (laughs) It's all stained stained glass. glass. (laughs) That's the only way. You ever been in a house that had a stained glass window? Ooh. Get the fuck out of here! No. Yeah. I wouldn't sleep there to save my life. Just catch a cold draft. No, uh-uh. yeah. no. I do no. like the window. I don't mind the tinted windows. It's... No, you get su- you get a sunshade. What's a tinted window? I don't even know what a tinted like window. in a car. Like a car. It wouldn't yeah, be that I, I dark. Know, I know it, would... it in a car, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, there. you would just do it like you would put it on. I think I've seen like a like a film just to stop the you know to block it a little bit. You're not like they're not like murdered yeah, out. Almost like in the in the bathroom when they kind of have a like yeah a, a, yeah frosted. Little... It's like a frosted window in their bathroom. Yeah, maybe I could see that. In our old apartment, we uh, we got into feeding the birds on the on the ledge, so the cat could look at the birds. 
the the birds kept getting scared away, so we put like a two way mirror on it. Does that make sense? So that when the birds landed, they couldn't look in and see the cat. You're that paranoid? You think the birds are looking at you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Try they're a all robots. <laughs> oh try God. a Zana. <laughs> so the hey, birds, that pigeon the... stole my thoughts. What? The birds are just looking at this mare, and meanwhile on the other side is the cat just like the well, cat's like you're so the cat yeah. gets to look at them and coo at them like it was an interrogation scene. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Think he's lying? Get, get in there, play good, good cat, bad cat. Yeah, that I could see, but the tinted on that deer tint in the house. I don't think tinting. As you, what are you putting rims on the patio? <laughs> Is it black, like pure black, like it's black <laughs> trees. <laughs> put, a, put a sound system in. <laughs> Fucking subwoofer. Nah, I remember that's garbage. My man. neighbor had a red Mustang, and they put red tints on it. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the yeah, world. And that looking back, sounds cool. It's like something from Cars. I know it was wild. I remember you'd be in it. It felt like you were in a fishbowl, dude. It was fucking. It was it was a tough hang in there. You ever oh. see when the ladies put eyelashes on their on their cars on the? Yeah, I mean that's trashy. Yeah, but it's a tough look. If it's a girl, a dude can't be doing that. No, no I like it. That's Money. how you know they play ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you looking at, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah one's but, winking. Yeah, but yeah, one of your cars looks like it has, has a stroke because you <laughs> in a crash. Yeah, it gets, <laughs> fender bender is all fucked up. There's a tongue hanging up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Galileo. Is it garbage to be extra sweet to your to your elder elderly patients? I guess they work in a hospital and hope they make a last minute change their, to their will. Mm. I respect the play. Yeah, you got to yeah. do that with uh, people in your family too. Hey, how you doing, Nana? You know, I would imagine that probably happens every once in a while too. If they're in like some type of hospice care or like in a nursing home and nobody comes to visit them and they really take care of them. Yeah, that's, you can see that. You hear that happening too, then, the, and then the family, the family gets pissed. Yes. Oh, they get mad. They hell. think they like brainwashed they them go, or made yeah, them sure. force yeah. them into doing this thing. Yeah, yeah. it was like, no, you you haven't talked to them in five years. So, but I, yeah, no, that's a good play. I don't know if it's garbage, probably unethical. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's frowned upon at least. Get Maybe. some type of hippo law, whatever uh, it is. And then worst case scenario, they don't put you in the will. You've been nice to this old person. So sure, it, it like. And yeah. you poison them. Maybe you should, <laughs> you you should just be them. nice to everyone, maybe. How yeah, about that? How about that, actually? How about take a lesson out of my book and be kind and sweet You're just talking about you. petroleum bombs. <laughs> 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 you, you looked at I'm like, take a page out of Collie's book, call someone a cunt real quick. I'm just kind. I'm kind to everyone I meet, whatever. Yeah, that's what I think of you. I think of the nicest guy I know. Sweetheart. Mother Teresa. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> Mother. 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 Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa. Uh, all right, let's see. This was from Brendan. Is it garbage to keep a sock full of quarters under your bed for self-defense? I respect that. We always had something. Oh, you got to have something. I always. feel I feel like a sock. Of, I feel like I would rip if you really put some velocity yeah. on it. Then it's kind of like a shotgun, a little buckshot. My dad always had something next to the bed. It was either like a little, one, a little mini bat or he had this like weird thing that he made in, in like Boy Scouts or something. That was a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> that was your mom's money. <laughs> That is that that would strap around <laughs> the waist. It was a very unique, very unique weapon he had. Yeah, and we had intruders a lot, I guess, because that was every, thought, every day I came home from school. He was practicing with my mom. I thought it was French. I didn't know. <laughs> French golf club. Uh, do you currently have a weapon at the house, or a, or a, obviously apartments are a little different, you know, because it's. No. Tougher to get into, uh, but do I, you have some sort of thing of like I would grab this. This is the knife I would use. This is what I'm grabbing. Not have anything like that. I should nothing? actually. Now that I think about, it. I usually I, I used to have baseball bats just like by around. the door. So, yeah, but never used it or anything. But uh, but that's because you're such a big Phillies fan. That's yes, that's exactly why. Because I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the good old. Phillies. <laughs> <laughs> you were so unsure about the name. <laughs> the good old. I was like Philly. I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll land somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Phillies. Shout out uh, Phillies. We love you. Love the Phillies. Love the Helium Comedy Club. Love the fighting Phillies. Helium Comedy Club. <laughs> September twenty. <laughs> Get tickets. Uh, but the, yeah, I think the, the the coins are crazy. But buy a buy a cue ball. With the oh, coins and the cue ball, I think you get better. Like, a little, yeah, a little more with, velocity. That's but the even, most Irish shit I ever <laughs> I heard of. My life. Hey, so you put that money in the bank, right? In an IRA <laughs> account. Get the interest, then you can buy yourself a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Play the long game on them. Man, a pool ball is really good. I don't. I just don't think you get the. The whip with the, the quarters. Coins. Also, you're gonna cash those coins in eventually. You're gonna <laughs> cash in your weapon. You yeah, have a whip. Yes, of course. I'm trying to hit a guy with two nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I shouldn't have went out last weekend. <laughs> you got changed for twenty. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Uh, Piece of shit. Yo, what weapons have you got? You went loaded up like. Um, I got nothing right now. I'm playing it a little too fast and loose in New York. I got a knife that I would never get to or wake up. What type of knife? How big are we talking? Uh, just like a little flip knife. Oh, a little. Yeah, not a switchblade. It's like a regular oh. pocket knife, like an outdoors knife. Outdoor knife is. Cr- I don't even know if I could knife a guy coming. You'd in have the house. to. If they really... were coming in the house at you, dude. T- to knife someone, to stab someone, that is a very it's intimate. Po- yes, person. You're got to get close enough to a guy and then yeah, fucking poke him. Yeah, I'm not saying I couldn't, but that's I. You'd rather hit someone with a fucking. You gotta right. do that. I'd rather have a fucking Glock Gatling on me. Gun. It's good yeah. screwing around. Yeah, like, rather have fucking some fucking have, nickel. Have a claymore take him out before he gets in the house. Okay, let's talk about FitBod. I am FitBod. I am FitBod. <laughs> I will destroy you. Actually, they won't destroy you. They'll save you. Because, gang, it's hard to find motivational workouts, and your fitness routine is boring. Uh-huh. So shake it up with FitBod. With who? The FitBod. FitBod. FitBod app <laughs> is like having a personal trainer in your pocket. It creates custom workouts based on your goals, your experience, and your available equipment. Uh-huh. Whether you have access to a full set of weights or the heaviest thing in your house is a can of chicken noodle soup. Uh-huh. FitBod will create a workout that's exciting and will get you your best body you ever had in your life. Yeah, the good folks at FitBod allowed us to use it. It's easy peasy. You, you download it. They got all the workouts. It keeps it. It tracks your muscle fatigue, your recovery. Designs a well-balanced workout plan for you. It ain't yeah. going to kill you. It ain't going to make you. You're not going to be. It's not one of those things where you do it and then you, you lose steam after a day because you're sore or whatever. Going to keep it fun, baby. Yeah. With over 1,000 demo videos, you'll learn how to do the movements the right way. And you'll, you can track your personal best with FitBod's progress charts. It's never been easier to get the results you've always wanted. Check out FitBod. Get 25% off your subscription at FitBod.me slash garbage. That's FitBod. FitBod. F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash garbage. Do it, gang. Now back to the gosh darn show. Back to the show. <laughs> I'm FitBod. Did I tell you the story about the, the break-in in, in my house? No. I okay. didn't know that. I'll, oh, my God. This is, well, this is it's, it's stupid, right? But So I'm in my house, and we have a... In Here. The, yeah. So in, in the kitchen, there's a skylight. And birds often land on the skylight and they be scratching it and stuff like that. So I'm lying in bed, I'm hung over as hell, I'm with my girl, and we're lying there and I can hear the birds scratching away and I was like, those fucking birds. Mm-hmm. I'm lying there and they're making more noise and more, and I go, how funny would it be if there was someone broke in, but, uh, and I'm just there thinking it was the birds the whole time. And while I'm thinking that, next thing you know, the fucking door goes, and I'm with my girl. And it's just a in the bedroom? In the bedroom, right? And then the door Wait, opens. Wait, the bedroom Shut the door? Fuck the, up. The, the bed- Wait, the interior door. Yes. Yes. What? Listen. Get so your li- nickels. Uh, yeah, I'm lying there, right? The door opens up, and I immediately go. So it's on the other corner of the bed. Oh. I jump across the room, like, just like, ah! Like, a, I've never screamed loud in my strap life. On I'm, like, it was a beer. <laughs> like, it was a wild beer. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. I go, let me put something on. <laughs> <laughs> let me slip into something a little more comfortable. Go, I'm not decent. I'm not decent. <laughs> You're putting powder under Ooh, your arm. Yeah, I'm looking for a knife with ball gap. <laughs> so, <Rumor. laughs> but, so the door opens up, right? And this person walks in, little black, like a silhouette. And I run and I grab. And I grab. And I grab. And I right the last second, I realize it's like a woman. And I stop. And then I realize it was my girlfriend, right? She wait what? So the here's fuck? what, but here's what happened. When we were asleep, she had gotten up and had a shower, but I thought she was in bed with me. You know, you're kind of in and out of a sleep. Okay. And then when she came out of the bathroom, I thought it was a fucking intruder. So I attacked her coming into her own bedroom. She was like walking out of the shower, <laughs> yeah. la la la, opens the door, and then it's just me going. Ah! <laughs> and I, I pinned, mean... I pinned her up against the wall like this, going. Ah! Oh my god! Thank God it's you. Who do you work for? I go. Thank God it's you. Thank God it's you. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. And then she's like, she's frozen, and she just goes. <laughs> that delayed cry. Yeah, and then she goes, "What are you doing?" I go, "Oh my god, I tell you, I'm a intruder." Oh my god, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I almost fucking killed you. I thought you were a pigeon. I apologize. Uh, honestly, I thought it was my landlord. I've got this like 90 year old landlord, little Greek lady, and I thought, uh, "So what, you're gonna hit her?" <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <laughs> the reason I stopped was because I thought it was her. I thought I, I thought it was an intruder, and then I I, I grabbed, thought you were Nancy. I apologize. I, I went, "Whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah." And then uh, no whatever. shit. And she was like texting me later on, even that day, like four hours later. She goes, "Like my heart's still racing." I think I need to come home because she like almost got put through. The- <laughs> I'm coming home. Do not attack me. I will be entering the home. Yeah. <laughs> you got her a bell to ring when she Jesus. walks in. Damn, yeah. dude. Did I not tell that? I thought I told the story. I don't know. That's whatever, fucking but crazy. Yeah, uh, there was, it was. But at least I knew. At least I got the brownie point. She goes, 
if anyone breaks in, you're going to immediately attack them. Sure. It was weird because I jumped in. Like as, long as, as long as it's a woman in a towel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that you were expecting. I got you covered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a big guy, I would be like, yo, this is where the good stuff I would have ran. I would have ran straight by him. Oh, uh, god damn. <laughs> I would have ran right by him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that was not that was an intense one. Damn, that was an intense one. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I attacked my girlfriend. Like, uh, Jesus. Oscar Pistorius, you know. Jesus, yikes! <laughs> uh, <a> fucking Vietnam <laughs> vet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Richboro Pat. Here from the start, ten dollar homie, never have one red. Shout out to you. Mm-hmm. Is it garbage to put gas in your car twice in one day because you're so jammed up? Nah. That's been that there, means you're putting in maybe ten bucks. Oh yeah, which I buddy been there. Yeah, gas to get you to where you're going. I've a, I've one memorable time in my life. I was driving home, nearly home, had to get gas here or in Ireland. In Ireland, mm-hmm. no money. I put like four euros or five euros or something. Like gas that. is expensive over there. No. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's more expensive. expensive. Is it all diesel? It's petrol. No, no, it's not diesel. No, I thought it was diesel. Uh, some diesel, I guess. Not all diesel. Are you from Ireland? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know. I, know, I, know. I want to work with you on this one. I think, I think, I, I think you're a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to yes and you, but you are dumb. <laughs> I don't want to get I caught up. I thought they were all electric cars over there. <laughs> Petrol means gasoline. No, I know, but I thought they used uh, diesel. I thought uh, it was some all... countries do. There I mean, has, Germany. A Germany's a lot of diesel. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so I. I, I there are different countries though. <laughs> So I, but I left, I left the gas station, the petrol station, and the light went on as soon as I left. <laughs> sure. While I drove out, the light was mm-hmm. like, it, the light took a break for a minute and then went straight back on. Go down a hill, you're fucked. Yeah, I've never filled my car up with all the money I had, had in the world, and the gas, the light was still so on. on. Yeah, that's tough. Because you yeah. know, when you, that's when you know you're in a bad place when you know exactly how many miles you can get out of that light sure Where you go i've got i can I've, i can sure I can, uh, yeah you get another 10 miles out of you're this. flying too close to the sun if you know you're living a you're living a very tight life you're I, walking didn't start, a tight road. I didn't start filling it i didn't i didn't start saying fill it up until about a year ago oh i'm the same way like 11 months ago yeah. maybe <laughs> it was always 20 on this 30 on that 40 on that yeah. Part of me doesn't like waiting, too. I'm like, just give me 20. I'm just going here. Let me just fucking oh, really? I can get, get out of here. Uh, dude, there is. Filling it up feels good. There, 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 there is. That's the, it, yeah. There's, I feel there's... like the car drives better when it's on a full tank. Everyone's of happy with that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, your problems all melt away <laughs> once that fucking light curve turns off. Dude, there is nothing. I used my, I had a real shitty Chevy Lumina. It was my first car, and I would put, you know, five bucks would get me a quarter of a tank at the time, and I was always rolling on E. Uh, and dude, there was nothing more devastating than having like three, you know, doing like three bucks or something. Oh yeah, we're buying like a pack of cigs. I'm like, hey, put the the rest on. <laughs> sure, pump three, and it was like three seventeen or whatever. And you see a Snickers, you're like, hey, uh, yeah, you yeah. got it. You got to get the cigs because yeah. if, uh, if you're walking, <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got a long heater, got a long walk ahead of me to the next exit. It's cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's thinking ahead, and. Dude, starting the car and the thing not even moving is, oh. like, so disheartening. Oh. You're like, fuck. Because in your head, you're like, all my problems are going to go away. And you're just sitting there like, oh, man, I'm still stuck in reality yeah, that here. needle doesn't move. Brutal. Man. Somebody asked this a couple weeks ago. I can't remember. It was about uh, putting oil. And there, there was a while where every time I went to the gas station and got gas, I had to put fucking a little oil in the car, too. To keep it. Because there was a, a leak or yeah, something. Yeah, there was a leak. Mm. I my in my car in my first Chevy Lumina, I didn't know you. I didn't know what an oil. This is going to sound bad. I didn't know what an oil change was. I didn't know you were replacing the oil, replacing the oil in the car. I always just had to add oil to my car. Yeah, does that make sense? Like I never took it to a Jiffy Lube to get the oil. Changed. I would just go to Exxon and buy like, oh, I'm low. I would just let it burn all out, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm low, and I'd have to put more in. It fucks your engine up. Oh, is that, yeah. not, is that not it? Is that not the thing? No, you're supposed to go get a chain. Oil chain. Like they, they completely empty it, and they, and they, put, they put fresh oil in there. Ah. I would just let it burn all out and yeah. then add it. That's Fuck what up your engine. Oh, you could feel it, dude. It would start going. I'd be like, oh, I got I to gotta get to an Exxon and fucking <laughs> top this bad boy off. Well, I guess, uh, I guess you learn something new. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oil and transmission fluid. None of that stuff. One of the one of the biggest is I heard from a. It was actually a pretty scumbag uh, used car salesman. Be like popped the hood when I was like looking at used cars or whatever. And he goes, "You have to you have to constantly check the things that are clear. If you pop the hood, mm-hmm. all the tanks that are clear 
are so you can see the the uh, levels. Like okay. The transmission fluid has like a clear thing. Does it? I guess the oil does it, but the transmission fluid should. Just the a wiper fluid so, one. No, the transmission too. I has it. I believe there's like a really. Level. All right. Unless he was lying to me. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I sounded like an idiot. <laughs> I feel like I've never been in a car before. It's, it's all diesel. <laughs> it's all diesel. A couple of real car guys over yeah, here. Yeah, now that I'm saying I'm like, well, you can't see the oil. You can't see anything now that I'm fucking... No. You can't see the gas. Man, this guy <laughs> fucking lied to me. You're opening the radiator. <laughs> oh, I saw one of those explode in a guy's face one time. My neighbor. Fuck you up. Dude, a fucking... He was, they were leaning over and it popped all over his face and he ran and jumped in an above ground pool. When I was a kid, every 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 winter <laughs> when I was a kid every winter, somebody would show up to school with fucking uh burns from the radiator on their face. Like in the houses. Oh they were like Yeah, Ooh. playing by the radiator. We were always taught don't go near the fucking radiator. Every oh. every every year somebody would come in with a fucking splatter burn on their face. Do you guys have heat in Ireland? No. <laughs> Honestly <laughs> like yeah, not really. Really? really? No. You had radiators? Yeah, we do, but like, we're not made of money. <laughs> put on a put on a simple people. What yeah. was the primary? Put on a jacket and, and shut the fuck up. What was not... the primary source of heating in your home as a kid? Just my dad yelling at us. <laughs> 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 we did. We'd be running around trying to avoid the fucking fists. <laughs> That's a work. <laughs> Taco Tuesdays really warm you up, up right there. Uh, no, you know what we had? We had um, we had hot water bottles, which is you know hot water bottles. Sure. Yeah. So you'd fill like a just a bottle i guess of oil and water and you put in the bed that was get nice. the fuck out of here <laughs> damn civil war <laughs> you don't have that I, we had them i still i still use it when i go home it's like, yeah my mac goes and puts them in the bed i go oh, thanks mom. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute. <laughs> there's no heat in the house it's freezing it's free in my house in ireland it is freezing you can but see there has breath. to be some sort there's of an, heat. Is there it? is an ability to put on the heat which is what electric um no, no it's gotta be a radiator good. Uh, yeah, it's radiated. Okay. So it's, it, yeah, it's water. They fill up from the gas. Uh, it's f- oil, right? It's a big oil tank that they have at the, the backyard. And that, I don't that, think that you tell me. I've never been there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's the oil uh, heats the water. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah, probably a furnace in the furnace. Yeah, like the, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. The, the furnace heats the Man, yeah, we sound like fucking idiots. <laughs> yeah, I'm a more. This is also if I did know years ago, but then I was like, wait, no one's ever asked me. He's guessing again. too. I no, know, yeah. I did know at one point. Yeah, for but sure. But they didn't turn the heat on a lot. They still don't. I go home now. It's free. I can see my bread, and like the house is freezing. Because we had a cold and, stove, and we like uh, we like uh, dry our clothes on the washing line and stuff like that. So it was like you just have to wait until the weather's good because it's like what year is it there? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. man! When <laughs> the industrial revolution hits Ireland, you <laughs> no, guys yeah. are gonna love it, dude. <laughs> you know what it is? Is my parents? You get the internet over eight, there. Eighties, and I guess eight. All throughout Ireland's history has been pretty much the Great Depression. So like they're the people I grew up with. They're just like you. Know, you know, if you burnt your toast, you have to scrape it off. There's no such oh, thing as another yeah. slice of toast. Yeah, I got, yeah okay. Put well, that under we're your. We're not a royal family. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll scrape it. If you think I've never scraped a piece of toast, <laughs> put the burnt toast under your pillow. Keep you warm. <laughs> give me some of that burnt. Oh, yeah. give me a little bit of share. Me share some of that burnt. Damn, a hot water bottle. That hot is water bottle is great. Old school. Yeah, and then yeah, but we would do it when we were like sick or something. N- Maybe never. I or do, I think for like uh, yeah, an stomach injury, cramps. yeah, stomach cramps or like an injury, I think. Yeah, but I remember when I was young. So this is before they invented the. War- <laughs> okay, I don't think it is. <laughs> this is before they invented. The I'm war- sure there's people in Ireland listening right now. Be like, where does this guy live? What is he? He live under a rock? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> like, like a like a Nickelodeon cartoon, dude. You, <laughs> you talk about it like it's a third world gun. You were hanging your laundry out in the winter. <laughs> yeah, of course. Shirts come back frozen. <laughs> talk about stiff. I, I'm taking no it starch stiff. needed. I'm definitely taking it some stiff clothes. <laughs> uh, so this was before they invented the the water bottle sleeve. So there's like a furry kind of a sleeve sure. where you put the water bottle in and it's nice. Back in the day, it was just straight on that rubber. Straight rubber. Yeah, that would bu- burn you straight off because you, you'd pu- put it on and you'd get in and it would like <laughs> s- s- scald your leg. Yeah. I remember I fell asleep once and burnt my ass. I burnt my ass. I fell asleep on the fucking sitting on the water bottle. Especially so you get for sleep arse. with a thermos, dude. <laughs> and now I, I fell asleep, burnt my ass, woke up. I had to get like. Anybody got a hot bag of water I can sleep with? <laughs> I had to get some sort of netting type of thing put on my ass, some sort of like a third degree burn type thing. They're called underwear. <laughs> <laughs> called <laughs> instead of fishnets. <laughs> all right, <laughs> la di da. <laughs> we don't have all that underwear. No, we had, we had a coal stove is what we used back in the day. A what? Yeah, coal stove. It was coal. He's not gonna mm. know what that is. You know what coal is? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Fucking oh, nice. Sh- put it in there. We had coal y- y- real young, I think. Yeah. Real young, and then, but everyone had coal. Made the place nice and toasty. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, when we grew up, it was just black smoke flying from all sure. of it, and then it became like an eco system bullshit thing where they were like, get rid of that. It's bad for the environment. Right? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm really painting this guy. I'm, dude, I'm like, I have a picture of your house in my head from your previous episodes as well, and it changes every two seconds in my we head. We gotta change the name of the show. Are you stupid? <laughs> I swear to God, we sound like idiots. <laughs> I used to have a cold car, actually, back in the you day. You imagine like Ellis Island, right? You guys I mean, ever put five bucks of coal in your you're car? You're talking about see through cars? Fucking. <laughs> he's, he's sleeping with hot water bottles. Heat? What is heat? Ah, <laughs> uh, God. All right, Jesus Christ, we are a couple of fucking idiots. Um, this is from Tracy. What is the lowest stakes game you've ever witnessed that a f- that ended up in a fight? I saw two fifty year olds properly square up over a ski ball dispute on the Ocean City Boardwalk in 2000, 2004. That makes sense, though. Uh, I mean, we've gotten in, we've we would have like game nights when we were like in our twenties and drinking like our cousins and stuff. Like, oh, we're all down the shore. Let's play fucking, you know. What were those games that hit? There was a uh, apples to apples. There was like a couple of those cards against humanity, cards and such. against humanity, mm. all that kind of bo- not boggle brain quest or whatever. There was a bunch of shit. We would do that when we played guns when we were kids. You know, guns. you play guns, yeah. And like, if somebody wouldn't go down, like I shot you, uh, no, yeah, you. wouldn't go down. Yeah, that would start a fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like like tag or something, and then they'd be like, you didn't get me. Yeah, so, it was oh, always God, one I fucking got pussy got kid. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was always like a friend of a friend or like somebody on the fringes like you didn't get me. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I got you. Start swinging. Oh yeah. But we do. We would have. We'd be adults playing, and it would yeah. end in like near fist fights because you're drinking, you're boozing, yeah. you're like you. Anything where the rules are up for debate is, oh. and there's booze involved, is bad news. Like Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> What's a real word? Pussy is a word. <laughs> John. Three T's in a row. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. I try to stay. Beer pong always ends in a argument a lot because that's it. It's over, you know, the competition and then the booze involved. It, you know. Also, everybody plays different rules and stuff like that. Where is beer pong? Probably uh, not. It, it's no. It is now because of the internet, but it wasn't when I was growing up. It mm-hmm. wasn't like a pop. Wasn't event. a thing. Yeah, no. I believe it is now. More people are getting involved. Just drinking. Drinking games weren't really that big. I don't think in Ireland compared to here. Yeah, I can yeah, see we, that. We had More a couple, of a way of life. We, yeah, we were just all boozing all the time anyway. I guess we had a thing called, fucked up. We had a thing called Kings for a while. Did you ever play yeah, Kings? King, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. Kings? So Kings is uh, it's a card. Every game. card has a rule. Yeah, and then at, at the, and and some of the rules are just like if you get a three, you got to pour like three seconds of your drink into this big cup in the middle. And okay. then at the very end, whoever gets the fourth king has to drink the whatever whatever's thing. in the middle. And oh, everyone's like been pour, everyone's been pouring in that stuff, but you get wasted. So whoever loses that. Or then it's like you get a five, you got to drink your drink for five seconds. Yeah, you can like give out like, oh, I want Colin to drink for 10 yeah, seconds or whatever. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, you get real it's fucked right. up. Yeah. That, yeah. Was like the, well, that was one of the first games we learned in high school, aside from beer pong, was Kings. Can you guys play yeah. dominoes? You don't play dominoes? No. No. Yeah, I mean, It doesn't make any sense to me. Looks I, cool, yeah. though. I saw it, and I live in the Heights, so it's, uh, there's a, it's a lot of... It's a Dominican neighborhood, so they all play out on the streets, mm-hmm. and like they watch, like yeah. watching... It seems so boring to like I because I don't understand it, but like oh, yeah. it's cool watching, it's like watching a board game. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's they're enthralled by it. Hmm. Got to get a table, figure yeah. it out, set up shop. Can you play dominoes? Fuck no. <laughs> set them up, knock them down, pretty good though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Domino. What isn't that dominoes? No, it's 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 something I mean, I with get the numbers. It. The yeah, numbers that, on it. No, but Domino's put them together. is the setup. No, we're sounding over. more stupid. Why the fuck yeah. does this keep it's happening? Stupid. I thought you were talking about pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some. <laughs> The Greeks play it out there in, in the story too. They all play dominoes. Yeah, you, you'll just get a couple of old widowers sitting in their garden playing dominoes. Yeah, playing dominoes. Yeah. That bridge and pinochle, I never understood. Pinochle. I know gin rummy. I could do a little gin rummy. A, yeah, that's. I sure. don't know what bridge is. Burn your bridges. I don't know. <laughs> he just looked at you. Like, nope, I got nothing. I thought that was that. like this, like old, like old person <laughs> game. Yeah, like, of course. Well, you, you want to it is. Bridge? They play bridge. Pinochle doesn't pinochle have its own deck? There's a pinochle deck. It always made me hungry when they would say that word, pinochle. Why? I don't know. Because it reminds you of peanut brittle? Something, yeah. It does do it. That's what mm-hmm. I think yeah, of. Yeah, peanut brittle. People playing cards with peanut brittle. Yeah, one thing I do know is a nice piece of peanut brittle. <laughs> I love it. 
Dude, I remember I we were we went away for like a weekend, like in the poke, like up in the mountains or something, and I was in charge of bringing the cards. I was like, you're, I'm like, I got a deck of cards. I bought a set of knuckle cards, and it's all jacks and it's all jacks and kings. Playing old man, dude. And we started playing, poker. dude. We started playing fucking blackjack, and everybody was getting twenties and twenty ones the whole fucking. Time. I'm like, I was, I think I was the house too. I'm like, I'm getting fucking bamboozled over here. I lose my winner, shirt. winner, chicken dinner. Kippy's out three. You scammed yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. Uh. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on me. Man, I had the hot hand dealing, though. Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Kyle. Uh, is it garbage to dip your potato chips into ketchup? It's like a crispy French fry. I defer to the big man on this. I would say no. I mean. But it seems like something you would get down on. The salty, sweet, I get. Do they fuck with that over there, Colin? On your crisps? Oh, yeah, we love a lot of ketchup, yeah. A lot of ketchup on, you your, dip? on your chip, like your potato chip. Oh, your fries. fries. Your chips. Yeah, of course. Ketchup on your chips. I've never crisps. Heard, crisps. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Um, but I guess in theory, you know, fr- fry, same type yeah. of thing. This is the way I look at it. When you're I young, don't hate it. When you're younger and you're hungry, you're in the house. We've talked about this. You start experimenting a little bit. Sure. Yeah, of you course. do some things that, you know, you might not normally do. And it's not crazy. It's a potato. It's a. It, it, it's basically a French fry. It's not. not. You talk about it. It like, is. It's like- a potato. Potatoes and ketchup historically go well together. Yeah. What's the fucking difference? It depends on what type of flavor the the, the chip is. I Straight guess. Straight chip, like a plain, a chip. plain chip. They do have ketchup flavored chips. Yeah, they, they do. They do have ketchup And they also have chips. cottage that, fries, which are basically just thick potato chips. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've never done it, but I, I can't. Fu- I don't know. It's wrong. I can't explain it why. It doesn't feel right. I think, all right, here's my astute observation on it. It works with a French fry because they're bigger and there's a dipping motion. Chips, are, chips are small and you're greasy in your finger. It's like you're, mm. there's you not enough space You got a couple of chips in, in your hand, a little catchy. But, 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 then, but then the French onion dip in a chip is fantastic. Yes, it is. Wait. And yeah, I don't wait, think a there's chip, a problem. A chip and a French onion dip, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dipping chips in French onion dip. Yeah, but that's but, not what I'm talking about. But that's it? not a dip. Ketchup's not a dip. It, I think it certainly could be. Ketchup, ketchup's a condiment. Yeah. Ketchup is not a dip. D- What's the difference between condiments and a, and a dip? A dip is is, is, a, is a subsection of condiments. I've never like gone to a Kali party and there's been a bowl of ketchup. <laughs> All right? out with the wrong people. Have, but you get it with your fry sometimes. It comes out in that little side, little, that's little a ramekin. Condiment. That's no, a little, condiment. But and you dip it in there. Dip a, it. a dip is consists of multiple condiments. I would argue that. Uh, I would say ketchup consists of multiple uh, things as well. It's not a dip. Though. I think he was on your side, and you just wanted you just made up an argument to go along. Tomatoes, with. spices. Whose team are you on here, man? Yeah, he's I'm with saying, you. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, screw you guys. Uh, it's, but it's not a dip. It's not a dip. It what? I'll bring ketchup. If, not a if, fucking. If someone dip. goes, I'll bring the dips, and they showed up with mayonnaise and ketchup, and you, you go, would kick them out of your house. Yeah, I meant, I meant salsa. <laughs> <laughs> Some Hellman's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just because you can dip doesn't make it a dip. You can physically, yes. Yes. What? So you can dip a fry in ketchup, but ketchup's not a dip. Yes, that's I'm my I'm saying opponent. it is a dip. He's saying it is. It's not a dip. I know. If, you if, don't put a dip on a sandwich as a condiment. Yeah. I'm not my, saying you can't, but you don't. How do you feel about this? When you get a sandwich. Probably against it. And, and then instead of giving your fries, you get chips. I don't hate it. I, I don't nice. feel, it chips, doesn't fulfill wait, me. Wait, what? Wait, what? With a sandwich. It, Sometimes it bothers me because I want the fries, but I, I like it. it's classy. It's like they a, nice, ch- a nice lunch, a nice light lunch. They do a, lunch, lunch a little for light, sure. A little light lunch with they a sandwich. They do chips yeah. with the wings at the cellar, and those that's perfect. A, a, a homemade Ooh. chip, a homemade, chip, homemade chip, chip with like a burger, if they're like the real thick one. I don't want so one out of you, a bag. Okay, would you dip a homemade chip in ketchup? Uh, yes. Okay. Mm. Now we're mm. getting somewhere. Now but that's in the middle. That's more fry than chip. I don't know. It's in chip. You do know, and you don't want to give it to me. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, as long as we're all on the same page here. But let's get some chips. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to wrap it Talk up, guys. this thing it's, over. Uh, yeah, I think it, it's kind of frowned upon or something. There's something not right about it, but I, I can't figure out why. It we, would be nuts to, all right, look at it this way. Ketchup should go on things. And with fries, you could sprinkle it on the top of fries. You would never have a plate of chips and sprinkle ketchup on it. I might. You, no, because you would have. What do you mean you might? I have. I'm not saying that you wouldn't. No, yeah, but you're you not. Could, yeah, you're not you, spreading ketchup all across no. a big, a big family bowl of chips. 
<laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just go, go like, like the guy who's like with the lemon on the oyster. Go, yeah, yeah. Guys, I'll get this. Don't worry about it. Just the ketchup on there. I'll, <laughs> I'll do the toppings for everybody. <laughs> Everyone's good for ketchup, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Say to assume everybody wants some uh, red sauce. Hold on, sauce. That's, a, that, that's something to ponder. Let's say there's a thing of fries. This is the only show we can ponder <laughs> know, this for I fucking know. eight minutes. Let's mm, say, I, like, I like what you're thinking. Let's say there's a thing of fries that you got for the table. Mm -hmm. Is it proper to hit all over the fries, or do you make the pool? You got to make the pool. You that's, make the pool. You can't go all over. That's nuts. Really? You got to have a vote for that, but that's it crazy. It depends on the... Okay, here. I always look at a little... It depends on the, the nozzle. It depends on the application of the ketchup. If it's one of the fine squirt ones, you can drizzle. Gentlemen. I'll give you a drill. You can't sure. glob a whole no, thing. No, it's got to be the... It's, you got to be able to spritz it. Nobody's no. using those bottles anymore. What? The old glass bottles. They sort of like whack them out like they, you gotta whack them yeah, out. Yeah, really? Yeah. What oh. the fuck are you eating? They refill them though. That's not, that's not fresh ketchup. That's like just no. Oh yeah. The yeah. 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 Heinz. These are no. They that. bought Heinz <laughs> once in the eighties. Yes. Of and course. Been fucking just it was an investment it. purchase. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably still some at the bottom of it that they never get to. The worst was growing up and you get to the bottom of those and you had to get your knife in and it would like oh, your finger. Brutal. You'd be almost like your fingers would come out covered in ketchup. You know, and you can to get that last bit. Yeah. Brutal. But I don't think that's crazy. If cr table fries, you can't just put your stuff. You got to have a vote and go. Is everyone oh, yeah, okay? you got to vote. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. My mom vote. would put a little water in the bottle and shake of it course. up. Of course. Yeah, like shampoo. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Man, there was nothing worse <laughs> than fucking getting in there and spraying it and there being cold water from like the day before. Ooh. Oh, just get hit with cold. Oh, in the shower? Cold suds Woo! in the shower. That'll wake you up, baby. Man, that fucking sucked. I hated that. <sighs> All right, gang. We got to wrap her up. Colin Turrell. Oh, wow. 30 minutes with Colin Turrell. Mm -hmm. It's out on his YouTube yes. page right now, September 20th, as I think we might have mentioned. He's going to be at oh, Helium wait. Comedy Club in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes, can I just say one thing? If you do, Anything. If you do watch the special, and because of this show, just leave a little comment and say Tell something it, yeah. like garbage, or, or just say go Phillies, or whatever you want to do. Tell him the bozos. You're doing a little tracking? Yeah, it's nice. Right where the traffic's I've coming it, from. I've done it, I've done he's going to call me the fucking in four days be like, you only got two fucking comments. <laughs> that will be, that will be, uh, that will be. <laughs> that will be judging who I'm friends with. I'm not, not going to publish my findings, <laughs> dude. So, so everybody really knows, is any of this worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Colin Thank Turrell. you so much, guys. I Buddy, appreciate it. We fucking Thank love you. you, man. Always a pleasure, man. Kippy, what do you got for him? Guys, we're all over the road. Tickets are on sale. Uh, the first leg of the stores is starting this week or, uh, or can't wait in a couple days. So Phoenix, there's still some tickets left. Uh, a little left in the second show in Denver. L.A. is pretty much sold out. Some at the second show in San Diego, Salt Lake City. Get those tickets. The show's selling out. Don't fucking miss out. Gang. And we in December, you. we'll be in Philly at the Fillmore. We added a second show uh -huh. December 20th. Get tickets for that. <laughs> yes. Gang, we fucking love you to death, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.